Hey everyone, it's Sean McKenzie. I'm just out here in Sedona in the canyon. Uh, as you can see, the, the creek is right behind me. It's flowing really well. It's a beautiful day out here. Um, just wanted to shoot another video about our inspection period. So if you're seeing this and if I sent this to you, this video to you in a personal message, congratulations, we did get your house under contract. And now it's time to go through the house and uh, look to see what things need to be fixed and repaired. Uh, that way we can ask the seller to fix them. Uh, so as soon as we get under contract, my first thing is I'm going to schedule an inspector to come out and look at the home. Uh, they'll schedule a time uh, to go and look at the house. They have a whole list of things that they, they have to look at. It's about a three to four hour process. Um, but what we'll do is we'll meet them at the very end and they'll go through and they will uh, point out all the things that they found. Um, probably not everything that they found, but they're gonna point out some of the bigger things um, that they found and they really think that needs um, attention. Um, also, during this time, I want to just put this in there. Um, if there's something about the house that you just really, you're kind of sitting on, but you really want to make an offer just so that you can get the house, and uh, maybe there's something that just doesn't seem right, and maybe you thought you liked it, but now that you know a couple of days have gone by, you don't like it, or maybe a week has gone by and you don't like it, uh, we can cancel the, the, the contract at any time uh, during this 10 days. So we'll just cancel it. You'll get your earnest money back, so don't think that you're going to lose that money. Uh, maybe something happens in the in the inspection that you just really don't want to deal with. Maybe there's just something really, really bad and you don't even want to deal with it. I've had clients do that where they just didn't even want to ask the seller to fix it because they just didn't they just didn't like the house anymore and they just thought it was way too big of a hassle. Um, so don't feel like that once we get under contract, we're locked in. Uh, this 10 days gives us a lot more leniency to get out. And hey, maybe you have another house pops up that you like a way better and you want to get out of this house and you want to go on to another one. That's totally fine. I am totally okay with doing that. Um, I really hope that we stick with the one that we get under contract, but hey, that's your, totally your decision. You're in control of this whole process. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're going to have the home inspected. We can also get other professionals to look at other um, uh, um, subjects of the house, um, like the AC or the roof or the plumbing or the electrical system. Um, if that's something that the inspector points out, we can also have other people come out and take a look, see how bad it is and see about how much it's going to cost to repair those issues. Um, that way we can write it up on the um, Binzer report, which I will have a whole nother video about. And that's just the report that we send to the seller and the listing agent of what we want them to, to repair. So stay tuned for that next video. will be coming out right after this one. Uh, but once again, congratulations. If you're seeing this video in a personal message, congratulations again on getting under contract on your next home. Can't wait to continue along this process with you. Um, if you have any more questions about the inspection period and the inspection itself, uh, please go ahead and reach out and comment here on this video um, or in social media. You can find me on all social media platforms by my first and last name. Uh, my phone number, if you don't have it or if you, if you want to contact me, is 480-353-6963. Uh, can't wait to continue along this process, like I said. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.